uh, the uh, visible bandwidth of light energy that we are able to see and decode as color in the human eye. And you, you see, this is a blow up of it here, but over here, this little strip right here, okay, is in fact all of the visible colors of light that the human eye can perceive. There is an infinity in the spectrum to the left and the right of, of frequencies that the human eye cannot decode as color, yet they exist. Sound is another example. Take a dog whistle as an example. You blow a dog whistle, your ear does not hear the sound, yet a dog's ear does. It's because your ear is tuned to a different vibratory bandwidth of frequencies than is a dog's ear. Does that mean that no sound is coming out of the whistle that you're blowing? Of course not. The sound vibration exists. It's traveling through the air. It's actually reaching your ear. Your ear just can't decode it as sound. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Our identification with the solidity of matter most people do not realize that matter is nothing but solid. It's nothing like anything solid. Matter is almost entirely empty space. The atom is almost entirely empty space. The nucleus of an atom, you made it the size of a, of a baseball. The electrons, what we 